Hi, this is Peter Schulz, developer of WordPress plugin WP Data Access. In this video tutorial, I will try to explain how you can use multiple table option sets in your data project. Suppose you would have a table like the student table in the student administration system that is used by different uh, user groups. In this case, in this, this example on the page, um, there is a group of administrators and a group of students who have different needs. So you have a student administration page for the administrators and a my profile page for the students. In your data project, in your data app, you would probably like to have something like this. Um, the username of the user and the registration date for th these are examples of course um, would not be uh, available on the my profile page to prevent users editing these, this data but it needs to be in the student administration page um, to give users access and to register their, uh, their registration date um, you can also see that there are some uh, some labels that, that differ and you can see on the uh, student administration page that there are some tabs uh, for more information so so that one on the left side uh, uses the student table in a parent child page um, and the my profile is just a plain table page now to to allow you to create different um, pages for different users uh, there was an, a, a new item added in version 270 uh, to the table options which is called options set name the um, option set name by default will always have the value default and I'll come back to that later uh, you can change that that value uh, you can add multiple option sets and you can copy sets if you go to the list uh, in the manage table options tab you can add new uh, table option sets uh, by clicking on the add table to repository uh, the first set for a table will have the, the set name default and after that the plugin will generate unique names for that option set you can also copy an existing option set. The advantage of copying is that you don't need to do the typing for multiple sets over and over again. Now, once you have created uh, a non-default option set, make sure you uh, or your your page, your data project page, uh, uses that. You can change the option set name in the the data projects page settings now important is to understand how these table options these sets work because there's a, a hierarchy um, what it does um, if you define uh, a, a, an option set name in the data project page then the plugin will check if there is a set name available or a set available for that name if a set is is available it will use it if it's not available it will check whether there is a default option set and if that is available it will use it if it is not available it will then check if there is uh, uh, some uh, if there are some table settings for this table available on plugin level well you can define table settings from the data explorer if you search for your table and then click manage you see the the tab settings and under column labels you can define your labels on the column types you can define column types well if no settings no table settings on plugin level are found as well the plugin will use its defaults now in fact this is quite simple I think uh, it, but it becomes a bit more complicated um, when you are using multiple tables on a page 
on this student administration page we have a base table which is the student table and we have a, no have a number of tables and views that are used in relationships now if all these tables use the default it is quite simple but if you are using or you need to use some specific table option sets for specific tables um, you could have something like like this uh, some of the tables and views um, can use the default and others uh, are using uh, other specific option sets then make sure that um, you have an option set name that is used by uh, the page the, so the data project page and uh, that these set names are available for the uh, tables where you want to use it like, like in this example the student and the course tables are using the admin option set and the others are using the defaults in the video tutorial data projects fine tuning i created a small hrm data project it contains two pages a department page and an employee page well the employee page gives um, a list of employees and the department page when i click on a department it gives a list of employees as well and if you would compare these two employee lists they would be the same and that is because they are using the same table options set now what i like to to do is i liked um, the, the the department administration page to show only the name the job the manager and the department and the employee page should um, probably uh, show all the items so to do that i will need to create two different table option sets for the, for uh, temp uh, tutorial amp table now i already have one but i'm gonna add that first because in the um, uh, in the department i want to hide the salary so let's hide the salary here and now the salary uh, column is gone but this will result of course in uh, the salary uh, column uh, removed from the list here as well um, that's not what we want so what i will do uh, i want to uh, use everything everything all the work that i've already done uh, so what i'll do is i'll create a copy and what you can see now is that there is a second a default two sets and what i will do is i will give that a name which is more explainable like employee uh, administration employee admin so i will save this and now i'll show all the items I, i'm not going to show the employee number uh, but all the other items i will show um, now the department still gets only these columns and but the employees still get only these four columns of course as well because um, i have two sets right now but i haven't used it to use this i have to edit the employees table um, go to the option set column select the one that i just added um, it will give you th this this list will give you all option sets available in the repository and if i now save this then the employees list will show all the columns and the department page will show only these four columns so um I hope this makes clear how you can use uh, table option sets, multiple table option sets for the same table to create different pages for different user groups.